you're looking at a basic example of a switch layer lip sync with a head turn. This example uses some masking for the eyes and mouth. Um, I didn't include ears because it's a different subject. Also, the animation may resemble a painted egg because I think that's also a different subject. I wanted to keep things as, uh, as relatively simple as I could. So let's open a new uh, file that I started partially and see how it's done. Okay, um, step, uh, I'm going to start right into it. Uh, what I did, first of all, is I, is I uh, created a list of uh, vector layers. The face and the four mouth shapes, the O, uh, what I call sad, plain, file, the eyes, and the nose. Uh, the second thing that's important to do is to place all of these layers into a, uh, a bone layer. In this case, I just called it uh, Turn Talk. I, I just made it up. Um, the, the next step would be, in this case, because I used some masking, would be to set up the masking. So I went into the bone layer and um, I set it to hide all. Okay. And at the bottom is the face layer. I set that to... Uh, add to mask and exclude the strokes. Uh, that's pretty important. If you uncheck exclude strokes, you'll find that when the eyes get to the edge, they it just is just the white of the eyes. It just doesn't look right. So I have I have that. Okay. Uh, uh, the next thing after that, after you set up the masking properties, is uh, I went inside the uh, the vector layers and I created the shapes. I did that beforehand so I wouldn't take up so much time doing that now. Um, the next step after that is to create the bones. You see here, I have a set of five bones. I have the, the main bone, this red bone right here, is the control, main control bone, and it controls the eyes and the nose and these four lower bones uh, uh, below it. Now, these four bones are for the f four green a vector layers I have here. I call it smile, plain, sad, and the sound O. And each one of these bones controls one of those vector layers. So when I go to the the actions list and I click on B1, double click it, and I move the time down to 24. That's going to be my default one second, 24 steps. You'll find that this bone right here uh, causes these four bones to also move to the side. I'm going to uh, unclick the eyes to these four mouse shapes. Now if I move this back and forth you'll see that the eyes and the nose, let me render this out so you can see what the nose looks like. I use uh, line width on the nose because when it You'll find that when it goes back to the start position, I render it out again. You'll see that you don't see these lines up here. So line width, as I move it to the edge, pretty much creates the illusion that uh, that the that the nose itself is moving. I, I sort of so I, that's why I didn't mask that. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to select the first. I'm going to create a. Uh, four new um, actions. Call this one Smile. I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Let me delete that. Go back up to the bone layer and then create it. Move my time out to 24 and rotate the bone to the side and click on the bone layer and simply just move it to the side. I like to use a uh, shift drag to keep the point straight. 
Okay, go back to turn to the bone layer and create another one. I'll do this for each of those. This one I'll call plane. Move the time to 24. Rotate the bone to the side. And shift drag the uh, next mouth shape to the side. OK, that's done. Back to the bone layer. Uh, call this one sad. Start the process one more time. New layer called just the sound O. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is go back to B1 and move the timeline out to 24. That actually gives me all the mouth positions to make sure that they're lined up properly. So let me just click on this one. Plane. I can probably move that to the left just a bit. Okay, uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, that's satisfactory. Let me go back to the main line, and now I can create a switch layer. I'll call this mouth. And put all of these green vectors inside of it. Now I can go to the main line and create a little bit of animation. Let me draw it back out to 48 and with the control bone move to the side. And then I'll double that. And move it back. Let me get rid of this. Uh, it's as far as I want it to go. Okay, so let me play that and see what it looks like. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to go to the switch layer and activate and interpolate layers. And then I'll just, from this point on, I'll just change the mouth shapes. Plane. Okay, let's play it back and see what it looks like.
that's basically all there is to it. Now it's important to know that if you want to, if you ever edit any of these um, switch vector layers, you have to take it out of the switch layer first because if you try to edit one of these vector layers inside the switch layer with a smart bone, it's going to ruin the whole thing. I, 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 I don't know why that is, but if, if I decided anything, if, uh, you have to remove it. If I decided to work on a smile and I wanted to tweak it because I didn't like it, I have to remove it from the switch layer first, edit it with the smart bone, and then place it back in the switch layer and you should have no problems at all. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Comment, let me know.